Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Once again, don't forget to like our pages on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there as well. All major podcast players, True Results 303. Coming at you today with a video on why not talking can lead to better health. I know we've all un- we've all heard that concept of, you know, think before you speak. And in that sense, better health. So if you're not, you know, so you don't get beat up, that'll help you out in the long run. That's all. That right there is going to increase your chances of better health by not getting beat up and put in the hospital. But that's not what I'm talking about. So I think we've got to understand, especially here in the Western world, that we don't put enough emphasis on breathing and breathing properly. I'll discuss that a little bit at the end on how to do that, but this is why not talking can lead to better health because when you're talking, it messes up your breathing pattern, right? And we all know that breathing is a valuable thing and if you're breathing incorrectly, it can mess with the nervous system and put you in a fight fight or flight mode, which is putting your body in a chronic state of panic. And if your body is in a chronic state of panic, how is it going to recover? How is how are you going to relax? None of these things can happen. So it's only going to damage your health in the long run. So it's taking that only speak when spoken to, to the next level. Because not speaking when uh, only speaking when spoken to is going to help you in your health, help you live a longer life. And also, it's just going to help you better more contemplate, be a better listener, be you know, a better spouse in the long run as well. But once again, like I said, it's breathing properly. So I'm going to go real quick with breathing properly. And after I became more aware of my breathing, I'll go to family events and I will sit next to someone and I will talk to them and I can just see their breathing and you can, I can just see like that fight or flight mode just happening within them and it's crazy. So proper breathing is going to be from the belly, the diaphragm and not from the chest. When I sit there and I talk to people and I'm becoming more consciously aware of my environment, I can see them all up here. Watch my chest, watch my hand. Like all the movements in my upper body, right? From here up. This is how, you know, they're not panting like that, but that's pretty much what it is. It's panting. What we need to do is be breathing from the belly. So we need that big belly breath. See my belly go. In and out. Now when I practice my breathing, I try to go with those big belly breaths. Some people are going to say in through the nose, out through the mouth. It's whatever you want, whatever's best for you. But... They say you really only need to breathe, and I've done it in my breathing. I try to go as as few of breaths in a minute that I can when I am breathing. So it's getting that belly full and big, almost to the, where the, the, the point where you're pushing your belly out as hard as you can, and then breathing out and bringing your belly in to where you're contracting your abdominal muscles, trying to get every ounce of breath out of your stomach, out of the diaphragm. And in doing this, I've been able to do three to four breaths in a minute. Now, unfortunately, some of the research out there shows that the average person is breathing between 12 and 16 breaths a minute, if not even more. Okay, now once again, that's that fight or flight mode, right? When you start running and you're exercising, next thing you know, you're like, (sighs) right? You're up there at probably 30, 40 breaths a minute, if not even more up to 60, you know, a breath a second. But once again, when you're sitting there practicing your own breathing at home, you want to try to aim for the least amount of breaths within a minute. Try to hit three, four, two, if you can't even one. Slowing the heart rate down, slowing the body down, getting your body into a state of calm. And that's going to help you. And once again, that's why not talking and why listening is better than talking. Because you can control your breath, And when we are actually talking, sometimes it is difficult to actually be able to breathe properly. 
or right now, as I'm breathing and I'm thinking about it, it's understanding when to pause so that you can continue. All right, so there you go. Why not talking is going to increase your health. So I hope you can use this, think about it, contemplate it on it, use that breathing technique that I just talked about through the belly, in and out, expanding that belly out as full as possible, bringing it back in as much as possible, and trying to get as few breaths within one minute as possible. So don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast is out there. It's all true results. 303, no E on that true. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Remember, it's also Christianity, Catholicism, fitness, leadership, health, all those different things rolled into one. Search the channel, see if there's other ways that I can help you. And share and like these videos.